Hello everybody, how you doing? Buddy Blackford here with another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. And today, we're finally getting into the filters. And the filters are located up here, and they're like, kind of like effects that you can add to your Photoshop images or designs or whatever you have going on. The first filter that we're going to learn how to use is the Add Noise Filter. Now the add noise filter is good for giving your images like an old school film look or sometimes when you are uh, using images, different kinds of images and uh, pictures and clip art and stuff like that together. Actually I shouldn't even really use clip art. I don't know why I said that. But um, if you're using different um, assets together, sometimes you have like an image that was taken maybe by like a cell phone that uh, some guy wants you to touch up and add parts of like another image in that has been taken that's like HD and they're not gonna look good together so what you would want to do is add some noise to the HD to get it to be a little bit more like the already um, noisy uh, like cell phone picture so let's uh, get started and we'll just go ahead and start adding the filter so just go up here, go to filter, and we'll go to um, noise and add noise. Now we got a preview button here that you may probably want to have checked. If you have it unchecked, it doesn't show up in your image. So click on that, and then you can zoom in or zoom out using this button here. And then the amount of noise is here in the amount tab. Now, as you can see, I'm just going to increase this a little bit more so we can see. The noise is all different colors, and it reminds you of, like, an old TV station, all that static. So, um, that's, I don't know, that's what it at least reminds me of. So, if, you, if you're looking for, like, more of a, like a film grainy look, an old school film look, keep it sort of low down there. Now there are a few choices that you can make when you're adding noise down here. Um, you got the uniform and Gaussian distribution and then you got the monochromatic checkbox here. Okay, so the distribution distribution here, um, you can click the uniform there to create like a more ordered appearance or you can click the Gaussian option to create like a more random. So uh, let's go with that. I'm going to increase this a little more so we can kind of like see what's going on. So this is uniform, and if I click Gaussian, it's a little more random. Let me back off it again a bit. Come here. So there's Gaussian with it down a little bit more, and here is uniform. Now let's go ahead to the monochromatic here. Um, when you select the, the monochromatic checkbox here, it pretty much um, applies it to like tonal elements in the Im image. And, but it, it, let me try to like re say that. Um, it like tries to, it adds the noise to the like the different tones in the image. So here's peach on the skin tones here. Here's black. It's not gonna have all those different colors. So let me jack this up more, and you can see there, it's not gonna be a bunch of random colors. Now that was easier than the way I first tried to uh, explain it but uh, that's what monochromatic does and um, it's up to you whether or not you want to have it checked I usually have it checked because I think it looks nicer I don't really like all the other extra colors in there but that's up to you so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit OK and uh, there's my new filter now you can see that when filters are added they are in like a destructive kind of editing it has changed the overall image and it doesn't have an extra layer for me to like add it on there or anything like that so be wary of that because you just I just changed the entire image it is now like pretty much a completely new image from the other one that we uh, that I started with If I hit the I button here all it's gonna do is take off the entire image and I can't like just take away the filter the only the way you would do that is come up into your history and just like go up a layer so that your noise is off. Now that's up, it's up to you which way you want to do it. 
So that's uh, pretty much a lot about the um, add noise filter. You want to use it if you want to add like a film grain effect to your image. Um, you can use it when combining uh, different uh, quality images together because you may want to dumb down another image um, with, because its quality is too high to insert into another image. Or for example, if you're like restoring an old photo and you start, um, if you start messing around with it, you can add the noise in inside of like a selection or your mask if you want to, to um, pretty much uh, add more of like an old school look to it. So adding noise is pretty much for making things look lesser in quality or more like old school. So just keep that in mind and use it um, when you need to, I guess. So uh, that's it for this one. And I'm going to thank you again for watching. Give a thumbs up if you uh, liked the tutorial and a thumbs down if you really, really hated it. But I don't recommend that. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a good day.